Hey guys, this is Mama Made. Welcome back to another Coupon Topic Tuesday video. I have a whole bunch of these that I will have linked in a playlist in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're new to my channel. Um, I'm also up for suggestions for new topics or questions you'd like for me to devote a whole video to. So definitely leave those also in the comments below. And let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. So today we're going to talk about something that kind of has recently popped up in the couponing community. So this is going to be my thoughts on the whole Ibotta situation. Most of you are probably aware that Ibotta has been kind of going back and forth on what they are doing with their app. So apparently some of the offers started off being where you can't use any coupons when you do the offers. And then they said that all of the offers you weren't allowed to use any coupons on. And then they went back to saying only certain things again. So this is just my thoughts on this. And I loved a comment somebody put over on Instagram. And this is exactly how I feel about it. So Ibotta has always been a rebate app. It's not a coupon app like coupons.com and some other type of coupons. It's a rebate. The values most of the time are kind of a little random. Um, you know, it might be like 45 cents or like a large amount where you get something for free. It's a rebate app, not a coupon app. So I think we were getting some manufacturers who were being like, mm, I don't like the fact that people are using Ibotta with coupons. So they probably put some pressure on Ibotta saying, we don't want our offers being used with coupons. So I think Ibotta was maybe put in type, a weird type of situation where they were trying to decide what they can do to please their business because their business, yes, they get business from us couponers and you know non-couponers, but they also get a lot of money from the people who are sponsoring their, their brands that they're selling, right? So Ibotta is trying to please, you know, probably their big money makers. So we felt a little bit of the impact on that. So, you know, what do I feel about this? Um, so I just feel like Ibotta probably shouldn't do that because it's rebates. It's not coupons. You get the money. Who wouldn't rather just get the instant savings off by using a coupon and use a rebate? But, you know, we have seen this over at Checkout 51 they were very strict about using a coupon on top of an offer um, because at one point they were bought by Saving Star and Saving Star used to be coupons.com. So that kind of turned into a coupon top type of an app. So um, anyway, we have seen that before. Q Checkout 51 used to be really strict. They're not really strict about that anymore. I always send offers in. There's another app. I don't remember what it is. I think it's Swagbucks. You can't use together with Checkout 51, but I have done that before and I've never had issues with it. Um, so, you know, people were freaking out being like, what are we going to do? You know, this is going to be horrible. How are we going to coupon anymore? I don't know. Um, and I didn't laugh at them, but it was just kind of like, calm down it's going to be all right. Um, and I kind of, I actually almost did a video about this a couple months ago, how it would be horrible if I bought it, would decide to do something like that. But I, you know, just didn't make a video about that because that would just, you know, be kind of weird and random. Why would I bought to do that? But anyway, guys, so I wasn't freaking out about it. Um, I saw people saying accounts are getting locked. Don't submit receipts if you use coupons. They are going to be taking the money back if you do get a rebate that you submitted with a coupon for. So what I did was I cashed out my money. And then I'm like, well, you know what? Let's just see what happens. So I did, guys, amongst all that nonsense that was going on for like a week or so, I had submitted two receipts. Both of them were from CVS. I used CVS digital coupons. I used paper coupons on the same item. Yes, they were expired. They worked fine. And I paid with extra bucks. I barely paid anything out of pocket. I bought it, accepted both receipts. It took a little longer than normal. Usually I hear back from Ibotta within a few hours. And it was like 
closer to 24 hours till I got my money back. Um, I just did another one today or when I'm filming this video, it, it was Friday. So this is the third receipt I've sent in that I use coupons for that I redeemed for the rebates for. And I got the offers back. And they even said about, you can't use coupons with this item and they still accepted it. So I'm not sure what to tell you guys. Um, I've heard people say the computer system is really great. They're going to reject your receipt if you do it. I'm not seeing that. I have not had any of that happen. Um, so I am not sure 100% if Ibotta has even nailed down yet how they are going to do this. It might just be by chance. Um, I think it's just going to be something that we're going to have to just work with what they end up going with if they ever decide. Um, I think it's probably just kind of be based on what the manufacturer's rules are and who's going to pull out of Ibotta. They're obviously going to please their biggest money makers. So, you know, I'm not into Ibotta, like the company. I don't know who they get the most money from. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. We might not see certain offers from certain brands because of that. Maybe no more P&G because they are the real stricklers with you know their coupon rules and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm seeing that PNG is probably going to pull out on Ibotta. Um, fine, we can make do with that. But I just don't want anybody like hating Ibotta, deleting the app because to me that's a little bit foolishness because you know even if they do come out and straight up say, okay, no more coupons. I still use Ibotta for deals that I don't have coupons on. Not all the time, but you know, we do get those deals where you need Ibotta to make it a deal without coupons. So don't get rid of the app. Don't freak out. I hope you didn't delete or deactivate your account because of this. If you did, start a new one, start fresh. Let's just try to work with what we can do. So that's just my thoughts and opinions on Ibotta. Guys, it's their company. They can run it how they want. They might regret any decisions that they do, but obviously they're going to do what's best for them, not what's best for us. That is how a business runs, right, guys? I mean, obviously you want to please your customers, but you're out for yourself because it's your business, right? So let's not freak out totally on Ibotta. Um, we're just going to work with what we got. So that's my thoughts on Ibotta. I would love to hear what you guys, your thoughts and opinions Obviously, there's going to be people who have different opinions than me. I've already heard them, and I'm sure some of you guys have different opinions than me. So go ahead and leave those also, or if you agree with me, you can leave that too. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.